We're at Oil Towers. They've treated us to some new rides this year. Come on, my friends. Let's go find out what they got. Hello, hello. How are you doing? We've got some lovely, uh, got some lovely uh, policemen over there. Welcome, Miss. Tower Street is looking lovely and fresh. If it's dark enough later, we'll see um, some lights coming out of the frog fountains. You might just be able to see them now. Some lights. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. Are you excited? I am very excited. Are you ready? I am very ready. Where are you off to first? Wicker Man, I guess. So it's a beautiful sunny morning here at Walton Towers. I'm very excited. My first theme park uh, to go to since lockdown's over well sort of over and yeah it's looking great here this had a good paint up on tower street the towers are looking amazing behind us let's have a little look don't know if i can see them where are they they're over there somewhere behind me and we're going to head off to uh wicker man i guess rude not to Okay, it's time for Wicker Man. This is going to be the first ride of the day, first ride of the season. I'm quite looking forward to it. This is my number one coaster in the UK. People wouldn't agree with that, but for me, the theming, oh, this is just a great coaster. I love it. Let's go. off Wicker Man that was fantastic that was a really fast ride it was smooth it seems a lot smoother than it was last year so I'm really pleased about that got myself a mask face mask six pounds four pounds sixty I think it was with a discount fantastic okay yeah uh, haunted hollow update we've got this a beautiful new fencing against the walls look at that fantastic So we're just, we're just going to walk through this haunted hollow, head towards um, Galactica. I believe it was on zero minutes. Uh, Nemesis is closed at the minute. It might be because it's cold. Don't know yet. Funk and Fly at this end is closed as well. So we'll get on Galactica, see if anything's opened up by then. Uh, and then maybe head over to 13. Didn't do it last year, so... Uh, quite looking forward to getting on Rita, or not Rita, 13 again. But here we go. I'm going to make the, my wife look into this little hole in a minute, see if it scares her. Okay, this is the little, this is the little hut here that um, my wife's going to have a look in for the first time. Come on, do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. We'll go in and take a little look. I knew that would scare her. Oh, they come in here, make sure you keep the curtains closed behind you when you come in here or else you lose the effect. Oh, there you go. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Can you hear the maiden's call? Careful not to look too closely for fear of seeing something ghostly. Hello. 
Lord Skirton showed his fake heart in the class for young students of art. As they sketched the late Jones, a belt rattled his bones. For he hadn't the guts left to fart. Oh, well, how he feels. Oh. These guys tell there you once jokes. was a zombie oh, named Ned. What's the zombie's name? Who hated the fact he was dead. dead. Yeah. He'd warned everyone, <laughs> giving everyone a fright, while looking about for his head. <laughs> There's no rides or anything in Haunted Hollow, it's just a walkthrough, but they've put lots of theming around just to keep you uh, entertained as you're walking through. It's very nice. I like more, but you get, you get things like this. All our sensors give you a little jump as you go past. And we've got, got all these lovely little ones here. All having a sing song. Beautiful. Okay, the man says Nemesis is closed and won't be open probably until this afternoon. So uh, let's hope it opens, eh? Uh, it's probably one of the best rides in the park. And I'll be disappointed if we don't get a ride on it today. Um, so we're going to head to Galactica. Uh, check that out. Oh, I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed my face. I'm going to zoom my face. That's for sure. Okay, we're making the trek around the Galactica queue line now. It's a, it's a bit of a distance, there's no queue, but you've got to do the queue line. Up and down the hills, but oh well, let's go on with it. I quite enjoy Galactica, it gets a, gets a bit of a hard time from people, but I enjoy it. So if you've got kids, oh, they're talking over a roller coaster again. So if you've got kids that are thinking about trying inverted coasters for the first time, this is a great one to go on because it's um, very smooth and it's quite a gentle ride considering it's um, inverted. So I'd always bring them on here, come to Walton Towers, they want to try some, uh, some of the bigger rides. Go on Galactica first, tease them in a bit. It's a great one to do. Okay, let's give it a go. I love this ride. So we just had our ride on Galactica, uh, that was very nice, very smooth as usual, uh, that was very enjoyable, hopefully we'll get back here later because I don't think Nemesis is open yet so we'll be back in this area later I guess, so we'll be back. <laughs> so we're on the sky ride now, we're heading towards, uh, what was it, Dark Forest, we're heading away from, uh, I can't remember the names of the sections, where the um, Galactica is and we're on our way, we're about to leave. There we go. Now let's turn you around, take a little look at the scenery. There we go, we've got a nice little view all the way around here. And there's the, there's the gardens here. Very nice walk around, they're doing a lot of the gardens this year with the, the lights at night time. Apparently in these conservatories there's a garden centre now. We're going to have to check that out at some point. I don't know um, why you'd want to come to Portland Towers to buy your compost. But, there you can buy it. And here we come. Just a short little ride across here. But if you were going to walk across, it's going to take you a lot longer. And a lot more um, tiring. And here's one of the new rides down here, if you can see it. Just poking out on the trees. The waltzer, um, calling it a roller disco. Uh, I do like a waltzer myself. Haven't been on one for years. Let's see if I still like it. Or if age has taken its toll. Well, we'll give it a go. Very short queue. Lovely. So I'm outside the boards for David Williams area. Unfortunately, it's not open today. Um, I'm guessing they want to open the whole area with a gangster granny ride. Um, because the Gangster Granny ride is indoors, it can't open until May. So, um, I get, it's, it is very understandable. They want to do a big opening in this whole area. They waited all last year. They're going to wait even longer. You never know, you might even see David Williams here on his for opening day. I would hope so. David Williams, you should be here on the opening day. 
Anyway, let's take a little look. Let's see if we can have a peek over the top. Shh, shh. Have a little peek over the top. So I don't know what you saw there. Um, I'll take a little look back and see what see what you saw. I hope you saw something good. I think we've got um, a carousel in there, a little jumpy, bouncy ride. There's a new sizzler they've put in. I don't know whether that's going to be temporary or not. And of also the dark ride. So it uh, should be quite good in there now. A lot better than the cloud cuckoo land, what it was last year. No one ever went in cloud cuckoo land. So hopefully this year it's going to be a lot better. Yeah, I've also got the Alton Dungeons here, which is another indoor ride, closed until May, I can't remember the, the 21st, I can't, it's sometime in May they reopen the uh, indoor rides, so that's also closed. Yeah, there's not too many things that are closed um, because of restrictions, it's um, the Hex and Jewel are the only things really that's closed due to restrictions, um, so that's pretty good, most things are open. Uh, there's no restaurants open at the minute, just takeaway only and outdoor seating. Um, but other than that, yeah, everything's open. Well, unless it's broken down, of course. Okay, let's move on to the next ride. We're gonna we're gonna try this um, waltzer, I think. What do they call it? Roller disco. Let's go. Right, I'm uh, now gonna go on the uh, roller disco. They're calling this one. It's a waltzer, part of the retro squad for this year. New temporary rides. There's three new temporary rides. Uh, Funk and Fly, which is like a paratrooper ride. They've got uh, the roller disco here, the waltzer, and they've also got a um, jump and smash over in the X sector. So we'll try that as well. That might be a bit extreme for me, but I'll give it a go, see what it's like. <laughs> Enterprise. I enjoyed that. That's a um, bit of a spinny ride. Uh, Makes you a little bit dizzy, but that's quite good. I quite enjoyed that. Now we're going to go on the uh, mixtape, one of the new retro squad rides. It's a uh, jump and smash. We'll have a little look at it now, off ride, and then I'll go on it. Okay, we've just been on um, the uh, mixtape, jump and smash. That was really good. I've never actually um, done that before. I've done the frog jump, and I really hate the frog jump. But that was quite nice, I really enjoyed that, throwing you around all over the place. So, yeah, that was good, I'd definitely do that again. Uh, now we're going to go on Oblivion, which is behind me. There it is. Uh, don't look down. Okay, we've just come off Oblivion, it's a one drop only, but it's a really good drop. Really fun. Here it goes. It's great, isn't it? Is walking down. It's a, seems like a steampunk robot. She like her outfit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. She like. Are you having a nice day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> here we have a uh, battle galleons over here. This is the first time I've actually seen it busy. It's a, it's a cold day in April, but it's still heaving. There's uh, loads of people on battle galleons. Squirting water all over the place. They're loving it. I ain't going on there today though. No way, it's too cold. Oh, go 
going on Marauders Mayhem. Uh, this is the first ride today that's walk on. There's actually no one in the queue. I can't believe it. But so we'll go on here. Marauders Mayhem. Let's go. I like this one. So we did uh, Marauder's Mayhem twice. She kept telling me, spin it round, spin it. I was spinning it like mad. And she kept saying, spin it, spin it. I'm not going on with her again. <laughs> I'm not going on with her again. She wears me out. But we're sitting over here by the stage now. Got a spot to eat. Let's um, show you what we got here. Got me a lovely hot dog there some uh, pulled pork nachos and a vegan hot dog for her all together with the Merlin Pass 13 pounds I think it was, not too bad at all and we're on the stage here now we got some characters over there it looks like a lovely stage, I don't know if they do some kind of show on there or anything, something like that must be there for a reason, it's all steampunk kind of style. I don't know what these characters are. Um, is it a, a duck? Duck film platypus or something like that? Could be something like that. Uh, maybe the other one's a yeti, is that? A yeti or a, a wingdigo, do they call them? I don't know. A bon, bonnable, bonnable snowman? But whatever they are, lovely place to come bring your kids to meet some characters. Lovely. Well, we're sitting out on the grass here, have a little look around. Got loads of benches. Have a little spin around. Absolutely loads of benches. Lovely sunny day. It's still cold. <laughs> some people waving over there, some random people. And then, yeah, lovely. I'm going to tuck it in my food now. Smiler, um, 14 inversions, it's still a world record breaker. Not my favourite ride, it's a bit rough for me, but um, I go on it anyway. I quite enjoy it, although I get a bit pain on the shoulders, pain in the head a bit. I'll still go on it. Let's go. Smiler Q line, it's been a bit of a chevron battle. Um, some people are sticking solidly to the chevrons, not like I am, um, but some people are grouping up. Now, um, I wouldn't be so bothered getting close to people, but it's um, queue line time to work out on the chevrons, so the closer you get, the less, the harder it is for them to work out the times it's going to take. So stick to the chevrons and it'll be better from the timing. So we've uh, finished our day here at Alton Towers and um, we haven't gone up until the 8 o'clock finish this week. Uh, getting a bit tired for us, uh, got a long drive home so uh, we thought we'd call it a day here. A lot of the rides we want to do are like 80 minute, 90 minute queues so uh, we thought nah, we'll give it a rest for today. We'll be back again for Mardi Gras in uh, May, maybe July, June should I say, May, May or June. Uh, had a nice day all in all though, uh, got on a few things, had a, had a few rides, had a good time, lovely day. See you in another video, goodbye.